now I am going for the stationary increment. The distribution of n of t minus s depends only on the length of the interval t minus s and does not depend on the value of s. That means uh, during a interval uh, delta t, the one arrival is going to be lambda times delta t, order of delta t that will tends to 0 as n tends to as delta t tends to 0. That means uh, the stationary increments means uh, if you find out the rate that means uh, you find out the average per unit of time then that is going to be constant. So, this is the assumption we have taken it in the, the car insurance problem the average rate per unit day that is going to be constant and that is the assumption we have taken it uh, going to be a constant throughout the year and also the different times of a day. So, here also you will get whenever you have a Poisson process then the average rate is going to be a constant because of the stationary increment. The next property suppose you have a Poisson process of uh, one arrival and you have a Poisson process of the other arrival that means uh, one type of arrival is a Poisson process with the parameter lambda 1 and another type of uh, uh, arrival who that is also Poisson process with the parameter lambda 2 as long as both are independent the arrivals are independent then the together superposition that is going to be again Poisson process with the parameters lambda parameter lambda 1 plus lambda 2 you can add the parameter that means uh, for fixed t that is going to be a Poisson distributed random variable with the parameter lambda 1 plus lambda 2 times t whenever you have a two independent or more than one independent Poisson process arrival then the merging or the superposition will be again Poisson process as long as they are mutually independent with the parameter is nothing but the sum of those parameters that is you can you can combine you, you can combine many Poisson process streams into one stream and that is going to be a Poisson stream with the parameter sum of a parameters lambda 1 to lambda n. So, this is possible this is used in many telecommunication application that means uh, suppose uh, you have a Poisson arrival of a packets uh, from the different streams and uh, all the streams are mutually independent that arrival are independent then the total number of a packets are arriving into the particular switch or router whatever it is then the multiplexed one that is going to be always a Poisson process uh, that arrival follows a Poisson process with the parameters or sum of parameter is nothing but the sum of these parameters as long as they are Poisson as well as a independent. The next property decomposition suppose you have if you have a one Poisson stream you can decompose into many Poisson streams with the some proportion so that proportions are the p1 p2 and pn so one poisson stream can be split into n poisson streams with the parameter lambda times p1 lambda times p2 where each pas are greater than 0 the summation of pas has to be 1 that means that these are all the probabilities with this probabilities you can split one poisson stream into many poisson streams so here i have made a n poisson streams that means uh, the same arrival is uh, with some probability p1 it land up here with some probability p1 this put up here with some probability pn it is put up here. So, the split of one Poisson stream into n Poisson streams is allowed that means uh, the same uh, example if you have a one uh, router and from the router if the arrival is uh, splitted into many streams with uh, 
probability P1 it goes to the first stream, with the probability P2 it goes to the second stream and with the probability Pn it goes to the last stream. Then each one is going to be a Poisson process, each one is going to be a Poisson process with the parameter lambda times P1 and lambda times P2 and so on lambda times Pn. So, the split is possible as well as uh, the superimposition is also possible from the Poisson process. So, this also has uh, many more applications in the telecommunication networks. Uh, one uh, packet, one type of packet arrival can be split into n uh, proportions P1, P2, Pns and each one is going to be a Poisson process. Now, I am going to give the first uh, example to illustrate the Poisson process. Consider the situation of a waiting for a bus in a bus stand, in a bus stand. Assume that the bus arrivals in minutes follow a Poisson process with the parameter phi, with the rate, the parameter here that is nothing but the intensity or rate. Suppose you come to the bus stand at some time, what is the average waiting time to get the bus? When you land up a bus stand, there is a possibility the bus would have come before some time. The time in which the, the next bus is about to come, you are going to take that bus and uh, till that time you, you are going to wait in the bus stand, that is the waiting time. So, the waiting time is a random variable. So, that is a continuous uh, random variable. The question is what is the average waiting time? one can find out the distribution of the waiting time also. Here the question is what is the average waiting time. So, the what I can do? I can use the Poisson concept here. The arrival follows, uh, the arrival of a bus uh, follows a Poisson process. Suppose uh, at some time you come to the bus stand and uh, suppose the bus is going to come at this time, your waiting time is this much. So, suppose you make a, a w is going to be your waiting time, w is going to be your waiting time. The question is what is the average waiting time? Just now I have explained the Poisson process as the property, the inter arrival times are exponential distribution. The inter arrival times are exponential distribution and all the times are, all the inter arrival times are independent also. Therefore, this x1 and this is x2 and this is x3. So, x1 comma x2 x3 like that so many all the inter arrival times that is going to follow exponential distribution with the parameter lambda. Since uh, the waiting time is going to be the remaining time of arrival of the third bus. So, the w the waiting time is same as uh, the remaining or residual time of uh, the third bus to come into the bus stand. So, x 3 is uh, exponential distribution with the parameter lambda. The residual lifetime of x 3 suppose I make it as a notation x 3 bar the residual lifetime, residual time of arrival not lifetime residual. Uh, arrival time of uh, the third bus coming to the bus stand that is also going to be exponential distribution. This is because of the memoryless property the residual time is also whenever uh, some time is exponentially distributed some random variable time is exponentially distributed then the residual time is also going to be exponentially distributed using the memoryless property. Therefore, residual uh, arrival time of a bus to come to the bus stand that is also exponential distribution with the parameter same lambda. So, this is same as the w, 
the waiting time w is same as the residual time. Therefore, w is also going to be exponentially distributed with the parameter lambda. That means, the waiting time for the bus to come to the bus stand to catch the to catch it. So, the w is exponentially distributed therefore, the cosine is what is the average waiting time. So, average waiting time is nothing but 1 divided by the parameter, 1 divided by the parameter. So, here it says uh, the Poisson process with the intensity 5 that rate is lambda that is the mean inter arrival time between the buses is 5 minutes. That means, in the mean inter arrival time between the buses is 5 minutes is nothing but uh, it is exponentially distributed with the parameter that is a uh, average 5 minutes. Therefore, that is the same thing therefore, that is equal to 5 minutes. Because the way I have given the clue the in mean inter interval between the buses is 5 minutes that means, uh, the run the average of uh, x i is that is equal to 5 minutes. So, that is the same as your waiting time, because uh, it is exponential distribution therefore, the residual is also exponential distribution therefore, you can use the same value therefore, the average is going to be 5 minutes. So, using Poisson process one can find out the different uh, results related to the number of arrivals.